Hi, this is Ben Schwartz with Tapping Into The Zone. Today I'm going to talk about lucid dreams. Most people know something about what lucid dreams are, but not everybody does, so I'm going to just explain it a little bit first. A lucid dream, for those of you that are um, have had them, they are when you become aware that you're dreaming while you're in your dream. Now there's stages of lucid dreams, so sometimes a person is having a lucid dream and they're fully, vividly aware of everything and have complete control. And then there's lucid dreams that are less uh, in control, uh, but you still know you're dreaming and you can still have a lot of fun. It's just matters of degree of how conscious and how in control you are of the dream. But the main point is that when you go from being unconscious in your dream, meaning that you're like a passive observer just going along, going with the flow of the dream and you may not even realize what's going on, uh, to suddenly realizing, hey, I'm dreaming. And then the whole nature of the dream changes. Everything becomes crystal clear. Colors become vivid and beautiful. The whole landscape becomes three-dimensional and you are then fully a participant, a living, breathing participant in your own dream. It's almost as if you are in your imagination visualizing something, but it's with hyper-realism. So you have all the advantages of being in a dream while um, being able to orchestrate whatever happens, make things show up, give yourself special powers, fly around, have, you know, rendezvous with anybody you want. You know, your imagination can, can take that anywhere you want, but lucid dreams are a lot of fun. Not only is it recreational, but you can also do a lot of work on yourself when you're having lucid dreams because you have the advantage of bypassing your conscious mind and having much, much greater access to your subconscious feelings and thoughts and you can become aware of things you normally wouldn't be aware of in your own psyche. Um, you can even do things like a spiritual practice while you're in your lucid dream. You can sit down in the middle of your dream on the top of a mountain and meditate and feel yourself breathing and really go into a deep, deep, deep state of meditation while you're still in your dream. And it's just as real as if you were meditating when you're awake. Actually, probably more so because the normal barriers aren't there. So you go much further. So how can you get yourself to have a lucid dream? There's a number of different techniques and I'm just going to mention a few right now. The first one, and probably the most important, is to simply be able to remember your dreams in the first place to make dreams more of your conscious mind, meaning that you need to remember the dreams you had the night before. If you go to sleep and you have dreams, you know, even if you have the best possible dreams, if you don't remember any of it in the morning, then it's not going to have much of a, um, it's not going to enhance your life very much and you won't have continuity. So getting yourself to remember your dreams, write them down, keep a notebook by your bed every morning, when you wake up, open your eyes and then lie still. Maybe close your eyes again and just reflect back on what was the last thing you remember happening. Even if you just get a little bit of a dream memory, maybe just, you know, who was I dreaming about? What was going on in my dream? Was I near a body of water? Was I driving? Was I with somebody? Was I having fun? What was going on? Even if you just get a piece of it, that's enough. Write that down. Even if it's just a few words or a sentence, write it down. And the next morning, most likely you'll have a more memory of, of a little bit more and you write that down. You do that every morning as much as you can remember and it will increase pretty quickly. The next thing is to prepare during the day to get yourself in a state of consciousness that will be more conducive to going into a lucid dream. One of the um, interesting things that you can do that is often a cue that happens while you're dreaming, you're going along in your dream, everything's weird and disjointed and you don't have any control and suddenly something 
extra strange happens in the dream, like you go to turn on the light in the dream and the light doesn't work. That is one of the surest signs that you're dreaming. When you turn on a light switch and the lights do not come on, that's that's one of the, those dream signals that um, it's a dream because lights don't work when you're dreaming. That's just the way it is. Don't know why. So throughout your day, your waking day, every time you turn on a light switch, ask yourself, you could even say it out loud, am I dreaming? Turn on the light. Chances are the lights will come on unless you have a power outage. And then you've proven to yourself that no, you're not dreaming. But then when you are dreaming, and you go, you do your, your normal routine, turn on the lights of my dreaming, and they don't come on, you'll go, ah, I'm dreaming. And the second you say that, everything will come alive, and suddenly you're in your dream, a lot, you know, fully awake, fully conscious. So that's another, that's number two. Number three is look at your hands. It has the same effect as the light switch. It makes you conscious of your dream body, conscious of yourself while you're dreaming. Because if you think back to dreams that you've had that you might remember, just your normal dreams, you can never see your own body normally. You don't, you don't see yourself. You're only looking out of your own dream eyes into the scenery of which you are sort of not really connected. But you don't actually look down and see your own hands or feel yourself breathing feel your body. So this is another technique. Throughout the day, look at your hands and say, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming. Again, this is just training so that when you are dreaming, you'll remember, oh, look at your hands, I'm dreaming. But this time you really are dreaming. And that's a cue to wake up in your dream and it becomes lucid. So those are three techniques in the next video I make, I'm going to talk about using another way, which would be EFT, tapping, tapping the acupressure points while focusing on your intention to wake up in your dream. And we can practice with that video. So stay tuned. My next video will go deeper into the uh, techniques of inducing lucid dreams. This is Ben Schwartz, Tapping Into The Zone. Thank you for watching.